اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشینٹ دا موسٹ گریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفل دس از انجینئر فیصل اجاز اور ٹوڈے ایم پریزنٹنگ الیکچر آن ریفریکٹری بریکس and also I want to introduce my YouTube channel of Untitled Chemical Engineering Edge Tech and also I have discussed different chemical engineering topics and in title of these topics you are watching at background pages and also I have a special offer for my viewers if you want to understand a topic related to chemical engineering then please WhatsApp to me that topic name I will try my best to cover it Jazakallah and after subscribing my YouTube channel you will get my latest videos. Today I am presenting a lecture on refractories and in the manufacturing process we will start our topic from pictures and these will help you for better understanding and after that in this topic we will discuss introduction we will discuss types and different manufacturing steps and at the end I will provide a process flow diagram for your better understanding and in the first diagram you are observing that refractory bricks are available in different sizes also in different shapes so eight industries that benefit from refractory solutions and these refractory bricks are used in kilns and furnaces of these industries so the first one is iron and steel industry the second one is aluminium industry the third one is glass industry and the fourth one is power generation industry and the fifth one are refineries petrochemicals and chemical industries and the sixth one is waste incineration and the seventh is cement industry and the eighth is lime industry in this diagram you are observing a kiln is fully lined with refractory bricks and also these bricks work at high temperature according to introduction refractory is a material and property of that material is that it does not decompose against high temperature high pressure and chemical attacks and these refractory bricks are available in polycrystalline polyphases inorganic non-metallic porous and heterogeneous phases following materials are used to manufacture refractories the first one is silicon the second one is aluminium and the third one is magnesium and the fourth one is calcium and the fifth one is zirconium those metals which have a melting point greater than 1850 centigrade and these are niobium chromium zirconium tungsten rhenium and tantalum are enlisted to manufacture refractory bricks in these tables types of refractory materials and types of refractory are available so according to refractory material material have different natures like acidic nature and these are called acidic refractories and the second one is basic refractories and the third one is neutral refractories and examples are available in the next column so according to types of refractories the first First one is low heat duty refractories and the second one is medium intermediate heat duty refractories and the third one is high heat duty refractories and the fourth one is super duty refractories and in the third column you can see fusion points of all these types according to manufacturing steps the first step is grinding and to get proper size of material following equipments are used the first one is crusher and the second one is pulverizer and the third one is hammer mill and the fourth one is ball mill and the fifth one is shaking tables and the sixth one is screen after grinding of raw material we will start pre-treatment and the main pre-treatment of refractory raw material is firing or calcination so at high temperature for considerable time period 
firstly quartz which is a stable form of silica so during high temperature at 870 till 1470 centigrade will convert into tri dynite and secondly fire clay at high temperature will break down into several uh, constituents at uh, 1000 centigrade uh, it will convert into mullite at third we will treat magnesite which is mgco3 and after eliminating co2 will convert into mgo and uh, that mgo known as periclase and uh, that will involve in the manufacturing of uh, refractory bricks due to two reasons the first one is less shrinkage and the second one is a refractory shape on firing at the end we will calcine the mixture of dolomite and serpentine at 1600 centigrade and as a result of that calcination we will obtain tri calcium silicate and periclase which are very good refractory materials next step is mixing so refractory material is mixed with the binding material and in such a way that plastic materials are equally distributed throughout the mass to facilitate easy molding so mixing is carried out in pug mills and uh, the water additives binding materials and mineralizers are added and the mass is mixed so as a result clay mixture obtain in the form of a colloidal solution which is suitable for molding process next step is molding so it is done mechanically by applying pressure with the help of by hands through press and by machine through extrusion to increase a density the next step is a drying and it is done at slow rate to avoid voids and high shrinkage drying increase strength by removing moisture last step of manufacturing is firing or burning and bricks are burned into kiln to remove water of hydration and vitrification which is rapid cooling of liquid and development of stable mineral forms so bricks are loosely packed in the kiln to meet its expansion requirement during firing and after that our bricks are ready to use